It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Cardinals and Gang Green. All that and more coming up next. Just across the Hudson from downtown Manhattan, we welcome you inside MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Partner, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. Matt Prater, been around a long time. We'll get us started here. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. Davis now to return it. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, of course. All the buildup in 2023, it lasted all of four snaps. But the man is a legend. The Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. There's not many guys, Mike, in NFL history that while their career is still ongoing, they already are considered a no-brainer finding themselves in Canton one day. And this guy is certainly at the top of the list. But let's not forget, this is not some washed-up quarterback who can't let go of the past. He is still capable of playing at an all-pro level. And if he continues to do so, any team he's on is going to be a Super Bowl contender. Now he takes off. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Second down and three. Now the first back taken in the 2022 draft, Reese Hall. And he's going to weave his way forward. It's a first down at the 44-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Another run here with Hall. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That's to the sideline and taken in by Wilson. A gain there of 10 yards. Good for a Jets first down. Now Jonathan Gannon not sure here about that call, and he wants them to take another look. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. First down for Aaron. That's caught by the tight end, Tyler Conklin. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. These were the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game.
A-Rod now to throw on first down. He's got the longtime charger, Mike Williams. Here's second and three to go. Here's Hall. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Play eight of the opening drive coming up. And now they face third down. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike, early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. Ball right on the five-yard line, second down and goal. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Mike Williams. Touchdown, Jets. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Greg Zerline now for the point after. He's got it. And the Jets will take a 7-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes DJ Dallas on the return, and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Cardinals come out. They're led by their quarterback, Kyler Murray, first overall pick in 2019. Wows you with those highlight plays over the years. Off the injury, Greg, the Cardinals quarterback, is once again the exciting Kyler Murray. Here's what you call a bit of a unicorn of an athlete at the quarterback position. And when healthy, Mike, make no mistake about it. This guy is a flat-out playmaker. He possesses this rare ability with his legs to extend plays as he improvises that it's just hard to coach. But don't let that small stature fool you either. His arm talent, it's up there with some of the best in the league. The knock on him is how careless he can be with the ball at times. He needs to learn the difference between taking calculated risks and reckless ones. Because if he does that here, he has as good a shot to be successful as anybody in this league. One quarter in the books. The Jets have the advantage. We're back to upstate New York in just a moment. Here's a second and three forthcoming. To throw is Murray. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and... You just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, 
there's no mistake in who it is. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48-yard line. This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Connor. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. From the gun, it's Murray. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. This is a give to Connor, running right. Nice game on first down, but the penalty flags come in. And the question now, will the play stand? Here's Murray to throw. That's to the fourth overall pick. It's Marvin Harrison, Jr. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From the shotgun, it's Murray. He gets that to his big target, Trey McBride. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. They'll try to work the screen with Connor. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Just a little slow developing on that screenplay there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. On third and one, it's Murray. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. He's practiced these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10-yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with a touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. They'll run for it, and it's Connor. And he's not going to get there. The defense was ready for it, and they stuff him on fourth down. Well, that play had no chance from the start. The running back was not even able to make it back to the original line of scrimmage. Give credit to that defensive line. That was an incredible effort forcing that fourth down stop. The Jets offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. We'll see how they want to attack things here. Backed up deep in their own end. It's first and ten. From the gun, Rodgers. That's right side and brought in by Williams. And a nice game, getting this to about the 23-yard line. Oh 
Here's first and ten. Throwing, Rodgers. He's going to look for the home run ball. He was looking for Malachi Corley. It's second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. The backfield empty here for third and two. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. That's taken in by Conklin, the tight end. Now a timeout, Jets. It'll be their second. And the stoppage comes with 23 seconds left on the first half clock. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Rodgers. Gets that one to the veteran Lazar. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll work now on second and four. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. Catch is made, that is Williams. Jets are going to use their third and final timeout here as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in the opening half. Rodgers going up top again. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Now a second down throw from Rodgers. will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Just the lone touchdown in that first half of action. 7 nothing is our score. As we get you down to Florida. Orlando specifically. It's where the coach is. Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Aaron Rodgers. His touchdown pass is the only score of the game thus far as his guys hold a 7-0 lead to this point. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. I'm likely going to play a big role in who wins this one. Just that one touchdown on the board. 7-0 the score as the third quarter begins. On the return, it's Dallas. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Cardinals offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Start this drive on the ground, and it's Connor. And the D closes quickly. He stopped after a gain of a yard. 
C.J. Mosley, the veteran linebacker, there to shut it down. Here's a second and nine. Working out of the gun, Murray. Over the middle, it's Harrison. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Third down, three to go. Now Murray. Trying to set up the screen, but it is not there. He just had to spike it. It's incomplete, and it'll bring up fourth down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Here's Gibson to return. And he'll get something there on the return, able to take this back to the 20-yard line. The Jets' offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Play fake. It's Rodgers. It's made right side by Wilson. And it'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. Well, any fear they might have had that they'd come out of the halftime break flat has completely gone out the window immediately back in the attack mode, continuing to take the fight to the defense. They're not content, Mike, here, just having the lead. They're looking to extend it. A couple more plays like that. They're going to find themselves in scoring territory here very quickly. A pass caught right side by Conklin. 12 yards on that hookup, and the Jets have a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after a catch that did the rest and that's what it takes you're not always going to have the perfect play you're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look sometimes players need to make plays and that was a good one there that's catch three just on this drop and it gets his team a first down They will run it over center with Hall. He'll fight forward for a short pickup to the 16. Here's second and nine. To throw is Rogers. Nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Third and short yardage, it's Rodgers. Mike Williams, the one he was looking for. And now it's fourth down. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. They're going to go, and it's Hall. And he's 
going to have the Jets first down. Quite a call there. They go for it on fourth and inches, and it's a gain of five. Now Rodgers. He's got his man, middle of the end zone. Tyler Conklin, touchdown, New York. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal, down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. Zerline's kick, up and good. And the Jets move out on top, 14 to nothing. So we'll take it to the other end as we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Dallas. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Cards offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. After the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. But this is taken in by a teammate. Call it a gain of 13. It's good for a Cardinals first down. And I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away, and with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose, pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there to prevent that from being a turnover. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Murray's going to throw again. That's left side, and that's the tight end, McBride. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. That's to the right side. Caught by McBride. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here's second down and three. They'll drop the throw. 
That'll be taken in by Connor. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Throwing again is Murray. He'll look middle and finds McBride as tight end. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. To throw again is Murray. And he'll take it on in. Marvin Harrison Jr. Touchdown Cardinals. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. And now they'll go with the more popular of late analytics-driven decision. Down eight, going for two. He'll swing that out wide. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. So they decide to put the ball in the air, which I don't mind on this two-point try. But the execution was just a little bit off. And it's not going to work out in their favor this time around. They've got just the two timeouts remaining, so they'll line up and take their chances right here with an onside kick. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick. Not much of a chance. So now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position. Instrumental in leading and executing. And now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Set to go now on first and ten. The drive begins with a run, and it's all. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. with Paul and not much there he's back to the original line no gain on that one here's a third down and four 
Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. He's got his man complete to Wilson. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. So this one in the win column for the Jets. They use a little home cooking here. They play a complete football game and are going to send their fans home quite happy. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Jets as we say goodbye from MetLife Stadium.